Hello there, and welcome to 4v4 game here on Wistrel, which is this map where the outside is water with some Nova Islands. And trees separate the players from there, so they have to mine them their way to it to build a shipyard or get to T3, build an air transport, and fly over and drop the workers down there. And in terms of the teams here, we've got Soup here in the pocket position with the Zan Consortium, all the full up there. And the purple, the other pocket, is going to be RVA here in the Trade Federation. And then on the wings, we're going to have Russian Blunt here in the grey Galactic Empire. And Este here in the New Republic in the blue. And on the other sides of things, in the pocket positions, we're going to have Smoky Venus here in the teal with the black sun. Old Neeksu here in the yellow. And sort of meant to be, a, he seems a bit aw, oddly placed here. In the yellow Wookiees, Neeksu here. Um, and then we've got Lucky Ashman as a wing here in the orange with the Republic. And attack or die in the Red Rebel Alliance. And yeah, that position seems a little bit off. I don't know. It's like that on the other side. Not really. It's really. Struggled to make it circle, this map. It also um, ruined its aesthetics by the players getting jammed up against the water here. That's why they've got this sort of block. Blocky looking bases. Like someone just placed them in an editor. It didn't completely ruin the water, though. That's a neat ping in a full lump. Is it yours? Probably. It says RVA. Greedy. There's the other one. In terms of the food, flumps, some caddies to be pushed, some berries. Seven nerfs. I uh, don't really know what I kind of see out of people on this map because what I remember from this map is that you can see the pathways are very, very wallable. Like, extremely. And then the center, I don't know if the center is meant to be like a maze or a labyrinth, but it's absolutely not, right? Because there's, there's very little uh, like access way there, right? It seems to close off quite a lot with the way that the trees spawn. But it sort of gives the illusion that you might be able to walk through it, but no, no chance. That's not a maze you're going through. So to wall most of the pathways, it's probably going to be like one prefab each bit, or a couple of bits of light wall that you can maybe double up on to make it even stronger. Um, so I wouldn't really expect to see too much aggression if people actually play for it, but you could see the Mounties sneak through because they come so early. I can see Russian Blunt's getting troops in there already here. Pressure attack, but attack is starting to wall things out. But he's actually got probably one of the hardest ones in the entire map. He's uh, been a little bit shafted in that regard, I suppose, because it seems just not really spawned at much trees. And maybe that's because him and Russian Blunt here have been pushed out of sort of the central area of the map. And that's maybe affected the tree spawning and such. Because if this was closed out here and he was spawned maybe here, then it would just be this bit to wall, right? He's got sort of two bits. I don't see any troop centers on the other side of things. So mainly just going to be this two, I think. Well, I'm not really seeing much walling attempts either. All pretty quiet elsewhere. I think Russian is making a mounty. Yeah. Just an unpowered one. Just about to finish here. I actually got quite a lot of workers on food, so. Maybe he just intends to make them unpowered just to harass. You can see Attack is trying to wall, but everything's going wrong for him as a gun dark starts uh, on his worker here. Starts slapping him. Worse noise. And Russian Blunt's mounty going to be coming over here. Probably going to go straight onto that worker. He's going to walk past him. Well, he could try and finish the wall here. Slowly. He does have a troop centre down for defensive purposes. Nothing queued in it yet though. He could queue up a mounty. Try to get his power core. Which he started now. Does queue up the mount trooper. That's a basic training as well, so this shouldn't do too much damage, and it is a sieve where he can repair his workers, as you can see demonstrated there. I'm 
Oh, lucky Ashman on the mountain here. Send it across to Esty. And Scout trying to do a bit of damage here, but again, can just repair until the mountain pops out and get him in combat here. Oh. Missed his repair on that worker though, he does get the worker. And Esty being harassed quite a lot here. Does have a mounty on the way, but no power core down, and not too sure what's happened with T1 here. Does have the resources for it, but kind of saving it up. Maybe not wanting to overreact to this. There's the power core now. It can go up to T2. Needs to try and get himself off to T2 and uh, maybe hit Ashman back with a T2 rush with some troopers. Tank just finishes walling here, chasing the mounty out of his base, gonna go down very soon. He's getting gun darked. Ah. RVA suffering the gun darks here. Is he trying to wall things out here? Where is he going? Try to wall his teammate out. He's building a gate at the very least. He's worried about Mounties coming his way, I suppose. And he's dropping the Mech Factory spaceport. Probably going to be going to air. Where's his Nova? It's over here. It's a very well hidden Nova process. Practically blends in. Uh, lucky has been rallying the trooper recruit at Esty here and Esty hitting T2. Both hitting T2 at the same time here, but Esty has some units on hand. Oh, there's another three trooper recruits here. Is he going to get trooper soon? Could do some heavy damage to Esty if he actually got trooper and pushed in. He hasn't made the fatal mistake, has he? What, is he just not going to get it? He's T2. What is he up to? I feel like he could have done some serious. He's trying to come over and build a turret as well with trooper recruits. I thought he maybe like made the fatal error of not having the Nova, but he's got 50 Nova. Man, he's he's still not getting trooper. It's just like. Like ego posturing on Esther here. He's like, I don't even need Trooper to beat you. As he builds this turret and defends it with Trooper recruits. Handicapped himself. I don't think I've ever seen anyone quite. There we go. There we go. So, gets his turret though. The workers are here to try and bash it down. And they're hitting the worker. Uh, they're going to die here. A lot of troopers just flooding in from Ashman. A lot quicker now that he's gotten himself trooper. Yeah, that's like, is that another Mountie from Russian? RV does hit T3. Attack needs to start building some anti-air troopers, I would think. Why do I hear Gundarks again? So Ashman does get his turret up. It denies the Nova, but it's not really like harassing the Carbon or anything. It's probably too hard to harass Carbon on this map, let's be honest. He's going to start munching that forward over though. Got a bit of uh, map control with this. I'll be building some sentry posts. Little dots of vision here and there. On both sides of attack as well, building the sentry post. Let's see, one airbase down, but not two, which I would expect out of RV. Actually, I'm not sure what he's up to this game. What's he doing? Carbon upgrade. 
I really like him to not have any carbon. Rally's the one fighter, but like, you know, could be two. Two would be a lot more uh, devastating here. That worker would be dead for one. And this shouldn't be too troublesome to just rally out the anti air troopers to deal with this. Just garrison the workers to get low. And on the other side of things now, Esty getting air rallied to him by Smoky Venus. He does have double air based. Don't know if they're coming in uh, two at a time though. Like Atomic Soup's here, who cleans us both up for free. Are they getting a second air base now? I think maybe he had some farms running out. That's why he didn't have the carbon and he didn't want to spaceport some. Nixie, on the other hand, actually has a lot of air, double air base, he's just building it at home. He's still got a full to eat. I'd like to see him get down to attack space here and uh, find something to play off of. A bomber from Soup here trying to rescue Esty. And does kill all the air, he's got pretty much all the air dominance there. I would have thought this is in range. Right. Has he like clicked on this? Like what what's his priority right here? A long time I kill your food processor. I don't even think it stops you making farms though, right? And turn it does go down, all the troopers and the worker that are in it. Bombed and killed by the fighters. Six fighters heading off towards attack side. Russian Blunt getting a bit of a wall down. RVA trying his very hardest to get Russian Blunt to build some anti air troopers by telling him that the pocket has air. And there he goes. Look at him. What a legend. Building three. Long gone are the days that he told me that uh, I forgot that unit existed. That's exactly what you want to hear from your wing. When you're trying to play uh, like mech. And Nix is looking for an angle here, but RV has enough air to mirror him here. I'm going to go into the carbon. Sneaky. He's probably going to get a couple of workers though before RV is able to react to this. And RV reacted quite quickly. But the DPS is there for a couple of worker kills. RV got a decent patrol there. Two left. Their full health as well. Russian loses two workers, but I mean, that's a lot of air, and that's kind of a good trade, really, in the grand scheme of things, because you kind of want your pocket to be ahead of their pocket. <coughs> that's going to limit the amount of opportunities they're going to have to come and influence you with the air. And so, just cleaning up this, uh, this area of the base with the bomber. Yes, why at the moment just patrolling in uh, Ashman's base. Probably trying to get him to build some anti air troopers, and they got two. Sent him an MD as well, which is uh, maybe unnecessary for just one strike mech here. It's so hard to see soup space on the, the minimap, man. Like, look at that. Green on green. Running the strike mag, just luring this MD away. Do a bit of scouting or something. Attack gonna be annoying here with some anti air troopers and try and shoot RVA's fighters, but he's paying well enough attention to them. And you kind of expect people to just be going for like T4 early and stuff on this map, right? With the how insulated things are. So they really the air to worry about. Uh, we'd hope in the future to see more people trying to get onto the, the water in T3 and just going for like a little bit of a light sort of water boom and grabbing up some of the islands for all that extra nova and stuff. Um, and just sort of playing around that and filtering that into whatever they're going to do when they hit T4 or if they're going to hit T4 early. Where they could maybe build a lot more Jedi or um, like early assault mechs or something like that. 
a lot of attackers. So we've got in here trying to raid. Has a little bit more than S5, but he's going to get broadsided here. Although he actually got to fire first down. He's got a bit of an elevation bonus as well, so he actually wins that quite comfortably. Much to SY's uh, dismay there. Gets a worker. And SY building like, tons of turrets here. Like the damage is already done, right? Like that's what, four turrets? Just built all of his carbon workers to build that one over there. Not confident about defending himself here. And uh, Nixie gonna be like, no, go away. He's got lots of air there. An RVA coming forward and trying to kill off some vision, but he's a little bit worried about staying there. Nixie patrolling on the way. And uh, lucky Ashman being annoying with a couple of strike mechs, running them into Estes base here. Grandier landing some shots. Is this still T2? Why? What is he up to? He's got so much food. Just needs to build one more building and climb up. I guess like he's really tunneled on defending these uh, strike mics for grenadiers rather than just getting the, himself up. Gonna go and build like a forward fortress here. Over that over and over. Already a heavy weapons factory down though. Could be like some pummels rallied this way. The Russian will do that. It's got two AA mobiles out as well. An MD, a couple of troopers. Be quite good against mounties. Mounties are probably the only thing that rebels right here would be. Sliding into it. Why has he got a research center? There's no way he's on his way to T4. What's he built that for? Has he gone in anything with it? No. There's a little wall and gate here. on the way to T4. A lot of carbon. Not really much room to play. Like this map's gonna suck when you play in civs like G, TF, etc. Because there's just not like a lot of room to drop your your infrastructure. Like your mech factories and stuff. Um, displace your army. It's gonna definitely favor the air because the air traverses all the terrain and the, the Jedi and stuff because it's, it's not a lot of infrastructure. Don't take up a lot of space. And the chokes are naturally going to make those civs a lot better too. Because they can rely on things like air cruisers. Big area of effect damage. And that trade did not go well for Ashman there. Kind of walked under the air while taking damage from it. And RV going to get the fortress down here, and attack's going to struggle because there's a wall here. RV is going to hit T4, and it's just going to pop out a cannon. And the cannon, nothing's going to touch the cannon, right? It's just going to knock everything down. Nasty is T3 now. Make destroyer out. Air base up. Probably needs to, like, Chill out though and like boom backwards and get his economy going. He's getting pummels sent his way by Ashman. Just unrelenting with his aggression, but he does have, you know, like three command centers down. So it has the ability to build a lot of workers at a time, catch up. <clears throat> 
so it could very much outscale Esty. Does have a thousand point lead at the moment. Harvey going to get the uh, build things quicker upgrade first, and then maybe get his cannon. Attack on the way to T4 though. Makes you already T4, and he is air sieve, fast fighter here. Armored plate work, shield modifications, I'm both about to finish up. And I'll be able to weather that storm. But homing sensor is on the way for RBA at the moment. On a second research center? Interesting. No cannon yet. Kind of losing his window because then attack is going to get T4. In comes the air. Advanced turret on this one. Uh, this is some interesting gameplay, RBA, I must say. Build the second research center that finishes about the time that you finish getting the other thing. Like, now get an anti air battery. I feel like this is cope to just justify your decision. So about 40% here, but unfortunately I'm going to be taking a bit of damage. At the very least though, he does have the homing, so all the shots will land, right? So it's a bit more damage that you would normally take off the T3 turrets, but again, it's quite a shock to the system for the economy here. Oh, he does have the boats down though. He's mined through. You get a bit of a fish boom on, getting into the islands as well, that's nice. Oh, and SY is doing the same. Good to finally see some people getting getting that down. So it's actually quite good for this map, and it's a good way to make use of the fact that you don't have much space, so you can actually have a lot of your eco spread across the water. That way you can cut down on the amount of farms that you would need to place and stuff, and then you can have buildings in those spots. And you could even like hide uh, tech buildings around here and stuff as well, if you need this space. Cannon is out. Very good spot here. Not much use to these double uh, research centers. I feel like he needs a spot for a mech factor. Uh, Pummels did carve through here, not much resistance. Lucky Ashman actually really pushing through. A lot of units here. And then Este is just forced to retreat back behind his pocket. Soup, who's got quite a few uh, artillery out and some strike mechs, mech destroyer. But Ashby getting the fortress up, getting the, <laughs> the shield in front of the fortress is a classic uh, bad move. I mean, if you can build your shield there, you probably could have built your fortress there, you know? Trying to kill this AE mobile, but it's pretty tanky with this shield and everything. And these units are just getting slaughtered. All the nerfs die into the uh, command center fire, unfortunately. It's minus what, five nerfs there? We've got a tank with some uh, six plus one repeater troopers. I hope when I look here, he's getting. No. Getting tougher armor. You can totally afford the other upgrades, so. Getting housed at the moment. Which is uh, something I would expect to happen to a lot of people on this map, really, because space. He still needs to get stim packs as well. And cannon slowly. Mm, see an air cruiser as well, it's going to be great here. See, RV is kind of just set up the turtle here while he's um, building up like the rest of Zico. He's like getting his ships and stuff going. Uh, be quite good opportunities for boats too on this map, like on the coastline. Because if you're limited to space, then you're going to make use of the coastline, right? So cruisers could get some good coverage. Uh, you can also land stuff as well behind enemy lines through it. Quite good spots as well that you could put a shield generator here and just be sitting on the coast. 
like with double health. Be super OP. Set a really strong position there. You could even add ACs and stuff. And you wouldn't take much to hold the chokes, right? Like unit wise. Mainly just stack defense, a couple of air cruisers or something. And SY getting set up here as well. And Soup gonna have a hard time here with the two of them, like Ashman and uh, Smokey. They're kind of in the like, more open areas as well. There's not much chokes. And Esty's not too far from the front line here either. If they get broken here, his eco is under siege once again. He's got 60 health, plus 2 damage. Still need 2 more damage and 10 more health. Or 15 more health, is it? I guess 15. And those troopers will be a lot more uh, value. So the Mighty's got to 195 and the Repeater's got to 75. I mean, GE quite strong. Some strike max here. And some grenadiers, maybe. Donixu, who absolutely knows about his plus two range right here. What a legend. Attack or die got so much carbon. Cheeky holocron. A temple. Maybe iron up. Oh, there you go. There he goes. Beautiful. Bookie's getting Nova. Oh, straight back in the temple as well. What gamer Nixus. You can absolutely walled out by attacks nonsense in the shield generator here. <laughs> like, this is a lot of artillery that just can't come and help right now during this moment where they probably could have focused down this assault mech, which is now going to get some really good shots on them. And the shield goes down as well to the cannon. And he still can't get through. Boom. And these units there are not that tanky when they don't have a shield generator. Oh my god. Let him through. Can he get through here, maybe? Or will like a mounty pop out? They should have been taking bets on how many in-game minutes before they get through to the front line. That's why with the rare assault mechs that look like some sort of Warhammer land raider thing. A couple of uh, colossal glad droids and mech chars. I don't know why we're really seeing mech out of the sieve to be honest, but... It's not going to fare too well against Zan, all things considered, once the upgrades are in play. I get the assault next, but maybe not the MDs. I'm glad Droid's gonna go down here. And searching forward, we're getting some free shots on this cannon. Saving the uh, fortress for a little bit longer here. But there's another one in the back. Which means that one probably should have just been back here. So you'd have a, a lot safer time knocking it down. with the AC shots here. Again, no shield generator. So it's going to be taking a lot of pretty much maximum damage there. And some boats showing up here on the coastline, getting some damage in, harassing the workers, the frigates. they got 10 range. And Rebel's going to have a hard time matching this. be better to just use air and stuff like that. Or Jedi. This one's certainly got a lot of mechs out here. A lot more than Soup's been able to manage. He's got some mounties running his way. Some heavy artillery here. I feel like Soup's like got the most space on the map here. It's actually kind of crazy, considering like what everyone else. Him and Nixu have kind of got a lot in those positions in the pocket. Whereas the other ones are just you know like quite rammed up against the edge of the map, and then the the center is all trees. 
I've actually got quite a strong looking GE army here. He's just missing his health upgrades on his mechs and one more damage, I think. And an armor. Some dark troopers out here, but they are missing their, their range upgrades because you need to get them from the troop center. But they're pretty savage in the rebels. They kind of struggle to have like, any units that kind of beat them. Your best unit against them would be strike max, and they're not really the strike max ever, are they? They're like anti troopers, they're like a strike mech that doesn't take the, the anti mech damage that rebels are good for. But that four range is uh, harming them greatly. What's it going to get out? Army may be making a bit too many here, let's be honest. Like, how many anti air boats is that? That's a lot of population. I can see the workers come out and get the, get the shield down, get the anti air turrets. Because if you got the anti, you could cut down on all these anti air boats, right? And save your population. They are concerned because uh, that's why really carving through here in this position, but I don't feel like he's getting through that quickly. He's got a lot more cannons now. He must have knocked down, what, two fortresses? Really, he kind of just needs to walk forward. He's got so much more units than them. Like, Suplik's kind of dead, to be honest. Like, where's his army? Esty's not really in the game. SY could just be tearing through there if he just moved. It's kind of that moment where Ashman's not really got too much. He's built, what, a pummel? Just to get, like, Republic troopers online and just throw them in there at meat shield for Smokey here. And Smokey needs to tech into something that Siv's good at. Like some of those Night Mothers. And you can see, just missing two damage on those guys. A lot of artillery, they kind of just need some like good shield spots though, right? It's kind of the time where like someone like a Titan needs to just delete this command center and build a shield generator here. It's going to be really tricky to do all these assault mechs and ACs, can it's all like long range stuff that's just like slowly pushing a lot of static defense, going down to see some batteries being made. The double shield generator coverage. An RV is sort of surrounding them like a vice grip here. Strangling them from all sides. And SY pushing in the top here. A few units from uh, Soup. Some heavy mate destroyers. That plus 9 damage. But again, Nixie's army is just getting decimated by the area of effect. And no shield to help. See how low they get there with one AC shot, and then the, AC, the assault mechs are just going to kill them off with one shot. Grand's though, landing some shots, but might not have all their upgrades yet. And they're going to be very brittle with no shield as well, and no front line. That's why really, it's taking an age to push here. It's so like in 10 minutes he's gone from here to here. But there's basically nothing fighting him, really. Like, he just needs to ignore the... He just needs to walk forward. Like, capture this power core. If I were him right now, I'd get on top of this hill and just set up here. Take advantage of the fact that there's not really much to stop you. Because they're pushing really quickly here now. Because they've got so many cannons just carving through everything. 
It's not even like a super mobile army either. They're basically crawling uh, shield generator radiuses. And that's still faster than SY here. Finally walking some units in now. Looks a lot better. It seems to have a lot of time to actually build up all these units down here. Attack trying to actually evacuate right now. Five workers in the transport. I don't know, I don't feel like they're pushing quick enough. And a lot of troopers here. Zan going to be strong with that with a heavy strike mech. The Solmates could get some good shots here if he micros them though. Like that bunch there. It's a good flag from the strike mechs. A few down here as well. Yeah, I think Soup's going to trade quite well with this army. All things considered. He just has to focus down the assault mechs. I think Black Sun would need to be using like a, an AC or two and stuff and some Night Mothers and some Grenadiers. Don't know about the strike mechs running right into melee mode though. If there were Grands right now, boom. Dead. We've got a lot of assault mechs here. Cannons. Eh, eh. Cruisers on the coast. Kill mostly everything that they can. And Russian and RVA basically got this entire sea to themselves, as you can see. And you know times are tough when you've been forced into the heavy mech destroyers, rookies. They do get it cheaper though, with that upgrade. And it is at the very least heavy. Full war center ups. But quite brittle. No no HP upgrades. Which does always annoy people that they uh, they don't get the, the Wookiee one. The one that's got like Chewbacca with a spanner on it or something. You'd always think, why don't the Wookiees get that? It's an outrage. What is it even called? Technicians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soup definitely fighting hard here with his uh, mech spam. See some grands from Ashman here. I think you should probably see them out of uh, Smokey as well, though. Let's get the fortress up here. Again, this is so hard to stop all of this without um, SY sending like night mothers down. But attack, attack could have some masters as well. God, Wookiee assault mechs now. I think she's trying to find a solution here, but like the when you're getting pushed like this as well, like you're kind of like at the mercy of your own Sim City, like getting your units through at the front. But theirs is going to be like it's just all clear, right? It's just a shield generator, and there's just maximum space, so the units can fan out completely properly. Whereas you're coming in and in, in like cluttered groups, taking maximum damage. It's really hard to deal with. That's why a lot of times, like when you lose a position, you've just got to like set up a new one that makes sense, rather than just keep flooding units towards them. Otherwise, like the attrition's just too much. 
classic 1 hour 9 T3 pummel being sneaked around to get a power core. Or an anti air. He's just trying to kill Esty, isn't he? It's MD's aggro, don't know. The food processor. Is it the food pro? He really likes killing food processors. No? No, I was wrong. Where's he going? You got the spaceports? No, food processor. Definitely the food processor. Down it goes. That's the big takeaway from today's game. Lucky Ashman does not like food processors. Let's see if anything needs help. Got three ACs here, a lot of assault mechs, tons of static defense, tons of shield generators, tons of AA mobiles, some heavy strike mechs from Russian complementing this. A very strong push. Uh, pretty much decimates everything that the rebels and Wookiees can throw at them. These, these armies just need like some grants. It's weird to see them struggle so long on the the max. Because you expect like grand shots to just be hitting them. It's like the grands get them quite low and then the repeaters finish them off. Rins repeat. Is the fortress going up? No. Nope. Almost threw it into Soup's Eco. You know, they might actually be slightly more advanced than them here, but this has got such threat. In fact, this is very close to Smokey as well, though. A lot closer than uh, SY is to RVA. And RVA is actually kind of insulated, you know, with the, the boats and stuff. Now he's got a huge bank of resources. He's not really been losing anything. But Smokey's had to do a lot more trading because he's training like repeaters and a heavy strike mech and stuff. And they're talking about setting up trade and stuff, but I mean. They're just going to GG here. They have no uh, faith in Smokey, and Smokey getting a lot of resistance right now as well. And to be honest, like this, as I said, this is a lot scarier. Cause, I mean, you, it takes you forever to push all this back. And they're actually losing like Nova and stuff as well with the push. Salt Max, A Mobiles, At Ants. The most uh, Giga Chad Padawan you'll ever see right here. Doesn't really do any damage, but the assault mechs are going to help. Come on. Do you think you'll get it? Oh, the, the MDs and the strike mech. They ruined it. He nearly took it down. Damn. I don't know why they're still playing. They've all pretty much resigned. It's probably like attack or someone not leaving. No, I think attack left first. Who, who is not? Who's not left? Who's not left? Who is it? Was it Ashman? Yeah, bloody Ashman. Anyway, GG well played to all involved. It was an interesting one. Kind of a shorter one, but I mean, it looked like the RV was planning to play that out for three hours, but uh, no. Um, I think they definitely have the upper hand there. But yeah, if you like the content, please consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to see more, if you want to get involved in these types of games, you'll find our GBG Discord server invite down below in the description field. You'll see one for the Expanding Fronts mod, which is the mod that we're playing that adds all the extra sieves and stuff, and a lot of um, improved gameplay features and tries to modernise it to a bit more like a modern RTS game. Um, you'll find a link to Vubly.com where you can actually play the game online uh, with other people. Um, and if you want to support the channel another way, maybe buy me a coffee. There's a PayPal link in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.